Well, when, when I started at Mill Hill, well, I think it was the ASCW, I think, the Association of Scientific Workers, and, and I think it had a couple of manifestations, it became the MSF. Yeah. Clive Jenkins was, was the chairman of MSF, I think, at the time. I didn't know Clive Jenkins, of course. But, um, and I wasn't particularly interested in union activity. But we did have some people at Mill Hill who were interested, and we had a couple of, no names, no pack drill on this, a couple of firebrand ladies who were quite keen. And there was some dispute about pay or something going on at the time, or terms and conditions, and they decided that they should get everybody at Mill Hill out on strike. And I didn't think this was a very good idea. I'm, I'm not really a striking kind. I think I would strike if the chips were really down, but I thought, well, this may be a bit the sort of thing that most people don't want to do. So I got on the union committee. Um, I can't remember exactly how. And I eventually ended up um, being chairman of the local union at Mill Hill, the uh, the MSF, the ASTMS, I think it was by then. It might have been the ASTMS when Clive Jenkins was chairman of, I really can't remember now, it's changed his name so many times. But the becoming chairman of the union was a breakthrough for me because it meant that I started being invited to head office to sit on various committees deciding um, how relationships with staff would go and suddenly um, I w it was recognised by the people running the institute, Clive Russell I suppose and the then director that I knew things about what was happening in MRC that they didn't know. And so uh, they would ask me what was going on, which suddenly I was recognised. And that was very useful, because later when um, Dennis Rothwell, head of division of engineering, went and it was decided that the whole of engineering would be run by somebody, and they looked for somebody to do it, and, they, and John Scale asked me to do it. And he said to me, I can remember going into his office, he said to me, do you think you can do it? And I said, I'll give it a go, John. And I don't think that would have happened if I hadn't been involved in the union for some years before that and been on lots and lots of committees deciding various things as a result of that. So it helped my profile and, and uh, it helped my salary.